friends, welcome to today's math lesson. We're starting a new unit today. We're gonna learn about something called measurement. Now a measurement is when we measure something. That means that we look at how long it is, how tall it is, how much something can hold, or maybe how heavy or light something is. So we're gonna talk about different ways to measure things, okay? And you could track practice this, all these things, to, all these different ways of measuring around your house if you'd like to. Okay, the first type of measurement we're gonna talk about is called capacity, okay? My turn, your turn, capacity. Now capacity, friends, check it out. Capacity of a container, so something that holds something else, is how much it can hold. A capacity of a container is how much it can hold. So let's look at these two things here. We have a pot and we have a glass, okay? Which one do you think holds more? The pot, right? The pot holds more than the glass. That means, friends, it has a greater capacity. Now, we know that greater means big, right? So we know that the pot has a greater capacity than the glass, okay? The glass holds less than the pot, less than the pot. That means its capacity is less, okay? All right, friends, let me put this up here on our board. Hopefully it sticks. Okay. Okay, friends, my turn, your turn, mere fingers. Okay, ready? Greater capacity. Less capacity. Okay, let's take a look at our board here. I'm gonna move it on up. Do, 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 do. Can you see that? All right, it's a little crooked. I got a new pad of paper, which is super exciting, but it's a little heavy. Okay, so friends, capacity is how much something can hold. My turn, your turn, capacity. How much something can hold. Greater capacity, less capacity. Okay, so let's take a look at these cups here. Which holds more? Purple or pink, friends? Which holds more, purple or pink? Okay, if you said pink, you are correct. Let me grab my marker, whoopsie daisies. The pink cup has a greater capacity. Friends, check out this word, greater and more. Those words are related, right? We know that the pink cup has a greater capacity, right? It would hold a lot more coffee for Miss Nielsen, which is important, right? So we know that the pink cup is has a greater capacity, okay? Which holds less, purple or pink? The bowl has less capacity. Which holds less, purple or pink? The purple, right? So the purple Oops, that's not my best writing, but that's okay. The purple bowl has less capacity. Amazing. Okay, friends, now you're going to watch. I'm coming on the other side. Now you're going to watch, okay? Check out these three cups. We're gonna say one, two, three. Okay, let's say it together. One, two, three. Hmm, Miss Nielsen wants to drink the most coffee possible. Which coffee cup should she use? Okay, I'm gonna say it one more time. Miss Nielsen wants to drink the most coffee. Which cup should she use? One, two, three. Hmm, if I want the most coffee, Okay, you're gonna write down on your paper number one, two, or three, okay? Which one, and now friends, after you pick number one, two, or three, you're gonna tell me why, okay? You're gonna write down your paper. Miss Nielsen, let's see, how should we make it the sentence frame? 
um, she should use cup one, cup two, cup three, because, hmm, she should use cup one, cup two, cup three, because, hmm, my friends, you know what, let me write that down. Okay, let me move these out of the way. Okay, got my marker. If you want to write what I write, that's totally what. Can you see it? Okay. Oh no! Oh no! Remember, this happened at our lesson, friends. For some reason, the table, and wow, it's really. Oh no! <laughs> Sorry, friends. Technical difficulties, hold your horses. Okay. Whew. Okay, it's really crooked. I'm sorry, friends. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Okay, it's okay. We're gonna be fine. Everything's okay. Oh, it's very crooked. Okay, well, let's just write down our sentence. <laughs> oh, teaching from home, so fun. Okay, I write, you write, okay? Miss Nielsen. Miss Nielsen should use, should use cup. Wow, that's a terrible U, but that's okay. Cup. Hmm. Okay, Miss Nielsen should use cup one, two, or three. And I'll show you the cups again in a minute. Because. I want you to think about your because, okay? Miss Nielsen should use cup. Hmm, because, hmm, I want you to think about this because, really think about the reason, okay? Why would I use that particular cup if I want the most coffee? What is special about that cup, okay? Okay, I'm gonna put the cups back up. Cup one, cup two, and cup three. Miss Nielsen should use cup one, two, or three because, hmm, okay. All right, friends, I'm gonna give you a challenge question, okay? I'm gonna give you a challenge question. Okay, let's check out these bowls. Look at the different sizes, okay? Okay, here's your challenge question. Miss Barb has asked Miss Nielsen to eat her vegetables, particularly broccoli, okay? Now it's really important to eat your vegetables, right? It's important to eat your broccoli. But if Miss Nielsen wanted to eat the least amount of broccoli, would she use bowl one, two, or three? If she wants to eat the least amount of broccoli, would she use bowl one, two or three okay kind of like the sentence frame here miss nielsen should use bowl one two or three because hmm if she wants to eat the least amount of broccoli okay you're going to write that on your paper right now okay good luck my mathematicians see you later